All right, so today, this week, we're gonna talk about garbage. Can't wait. Hi, my name is Bruce and I want to thank you for watching this YouTube video. I want to encourage you to like it if you like it and subscribe to the channel. Let me tell you a little bit about what my intention is to do with my YouTube channel. I've done um, some videos, usually one a week, that's my goal, and I've done them on different subjects that really have to do with character traits, um, having to do with things that are really important and I've given them one word titles and that's my goal moving forward which could be kind of challenging. I did one on foundations, I did one on attitude, and today I'm doing one on garbage. That's right, garbage. What a subject. And uh, so if you're interested, I encourage you to like and subscribe to the channel. My goal is to really, to try to be encouraging and uplifting and give you something to think about. So it's, uh, it's a beautiful uh, day here in Lynchburg, Virginia. It's quite warm under this little uh, gazebo thing that I'm at. But I've had a lot of fun today thinking, and I've been thinking about this subject for probably the last two or three weeks. Uh, I think my next video is gonna be titled Home, 
but I've uh, been thinking a lot about garbage and in particular uh, not just garbage as in some of the clips you saw me uh, take in this video of uh, dumpsters and places like that but also the garbage that we seem to attract in our life you know it's kind of interesting when that when you when you google garbage facts uh, you find a, a lot of incredible things like here's a couple of them that I find really interesting you know, first, this this was in an MSN uh, article, uh, and one of the things they said, you're setting a 102-ton legacy for yourself. The average American creates more trash than anyone else on the earth, throwing away 7.1 pounds of garbage a day. Folks, that's 102 tons in the average lifetime. Uh, another thing they, they talk about is there's nothing refreshing about bottled water. Now, my wife Susan Elizabeth and I, we have water containers that we keep and refill. But uh, when you think about bottled water, water um, the bottled water industry is, is really been described as the grandfather of wasteful industries. And here's why. On an average day, Americans toss, are you ready for this? 60 million water containers. That's 694 a minute. Can you believe that? You know, water, bottled water is just overpriced tap water for the most part. So get, get yourself a, a Yeti or a, 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 a Tervis, or one of those other uh, stainless steel uh, reclaimable, uh, reusable bottles, and uh, you'd be helping the uh, you'd be helping out a lot with the situation. Landfills. D did you know that landfills? are full of food waste that we throw at least 28 billion pounds of food a year. That means 25% of the country's food supply winds up in a landfill. It's incredible. Trash is robbing your neighborhood blind. Communities, get this, communities spend more money dealing with trash than they fork out for school books, fire protection, libraries, and parks. And th I find this one interesting, and th there's many more that I could share, but I'll, I'll, I'll close with this one. The amount of carpeting waste will floor you, no pun intended. Listen, Gar Garbology, a, a group, points out that the Americans send 5.7 million tons of carpet to landfills annually. Now, my wife said, well, that's probably where all carpet ought to go. She is a hardwood floor lady, and I can't blame her. In fact, that reminds me, I'll be flying to Florida tomorrow, and I've got to vacuum the house. That's my job, and where we live, we have carpet, and you got to keep it clean. You think about garbage. Um, primarily, I want us to think not about the kitchen garbage that you saw me gather up. And by the way, isn't that most husbands, one of their duties in the house, you know, you take out the garbage. My wife is fond of saying to me, honey, you can remember everything, but you can't remember that the garbage goes out on particular days. Well, anyway, I'm working on that. But, um, you know, there's a show that we watch. Uh, my wife is really interested in, in some reality uh, TV shows, especially the ones that deal with, with struggles. And there's one that, uh, that we've watched a number of episodes on called Hoarders Buried Alive. It's tragic. If you've ever watched that show, uh, you see people, and, and it's not only garbage. A lot of times it is garbage. It's trash. But then there's just other things that they, that maybe they're a compulsive spender. They spend a lot of time buying things online and they, they accumulate a, a lot of stuff. And pretty soon it gets to the place where you can't even see the floors in their homes. And they, um, it's hard for them to move around. They, they, they can't use their stove or anymore and it's just amazing you know it gets three and four and five feet deep and family members and loved ones have an encounter with them and try to help them but you know what i find that in my own life i may not be a hoarder like that but you know it's real easy sometimes to tolerate and procrastinate some of the garbage in my own life you know things like what what about a bad bad think or a thought life uh, somebody refers to it as stinking thinking i'm reminded uh, in my video on attitude, you know, you may not be what you think you are, but what you think you are. And, uh, or, or perhaps it's just bad habits. Maybe, maybe, maybe you're not a good listener. Maybe, maybe you, um, maybe you got a problem with jealousy and, and envy. You know, there's that kind of garbage, things in our life. 
I was reading an article on FamilyShare.com. This one happened to be written by Courtney Erickson. And the title was uh, about the, the five things, the five pieces of garbage that you need to throw out of your life. And I think these are worth mentioning. It's something to think about. One is doubt. Uh, when doubt creeps into our minds, when we start to question why, it can consume us. It can tear us down until we give up on everything. Another one she mentions is fear of failure. You know, it's, it's not uncommon to let fear of failure stop us from accomplishing our goals. When thoughts of failure creep into your mind, just think about the worst possible scenario. Often it isn't really as bad as you think it might be. Another one she mentioned is procrastination. Oh my, this is ouch, easy preaching, hard living for me, but procrastination, a terrible, nasty habit that will only stop you from reaching your full potential. Just yesterday I had some really important things I had to get done on my work and I told my wife in our evening prayer the night before, I said, honey, I want you to hold me accountable to this thing because it's really easy to put off things that are really important that need to be done. And another one connected with that, another piece of garbage we need to throw out of our lives is, is laziness. Laziness goes hand in hand with procrastination. Being lazy doesn't mean just being idle in your family or household responsibilities. That also refers to our physical bodies and our health. The last one she mentions, number five, is overanalyzing. We may not realize it, but overanalyzing situations can be a huge burden on us and it's something that we need to get rid of fast. So what kind of garbage in your life do you need to take out today? You know, especially for people of faith, and I am a, a person of faith. I make no uh, 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 bones about it. I am a Christ follower. And the Bible talks a lot about laying aside every weight, the sin that does so easily beset us. The Bible talks about you know, wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word. And then James chapter 1 and verse 21, we have this admonition. Listen to what it says. So get rid of all the filth and evil in your lives and humbly accept the word of God that he has planted in your hearts for it has the power to save your souls. You know, the Bible says if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I don't know about you, but I need to take a spiritual cleanse every day. Spend some time today taking a little spiritual inventory. What, is, what are some of the pieces of garbage in your life that you need to release, that you need to get rid of today? So let me ask you to remember today, take the garbage out. So thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe. We'll look forward to seeing you the next time. Bye-bye. Got to go take the garbage out, right? That's right. All right. You got a great helper. All right. For the most part, she's going to stay cleaner than I am. <laughs> take care. Be safe. All right.